In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own MEV bot for sandwich attacks, liquidations or anything else you want. But actually, I'm making this video to also warn you, uh, there are so many scams right now of people trying to sell you MEV bot code. Actually, if anything is working, they probably won't share it with you because the role of a searcher, so a person who tries to find opportunities in MEV, maximum extractable value space, uh, it's a really hard job and nobody will share anything that really works. So don't click on any links, don't give your private keys don't lose your crypto by uh, giving your money away to scammers so this is the principal uh, thing about this video the second thing we're actually going to have a look at what you can do to actually go with an M MEV sandwich attacks and I show you all the difficulties that might lie inside uh, I'm not an MEV searcher myself but I'm a fan I'm trying to read the code you know and trying to be within the community and read as much as possible uh, so this is coming from an amateur but an uh, informed amateur who, who likes to code as well. Uh, so what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to use ChatGPT to generate some of the cool answers because I think this is the kind of the work you can do. And of course, the second thing is uh, having flashbots. So flashbots is, um, one of the most important things that happened to MEV, uh, this is a, a research organization that puts a lot of code out there that will help you get started with MEV as well. And I'm going to show you as well. There's really great documentation that you can use, but of course you need to know where you have to look. Uh, and I'm going to go through that as well. But let's get started with uh, Solidity MEV bot on Ethereum. Uh, and uh, I have already, of course, prepared everything not to wait for GPT-4, uh, but you can try it yourself at home, really recommend it. Uh, definitely use GPT-4, not GPT-3.5 because uh, there's such a huge difference in value that and the, the, the information, the quality information you're going, get, going to get. Uh, so let's get started. So if you ask about just Solidity, MEV sandwich bot, only Ethereum using flashbots, uh, actually uh, the, the flashbots get pretty much uh, ignored in the first thing, but you get the explanation of what is MEV and stands for minor extractable value or, or maximum extractable value. So anything that can uh, get money from rare daring transactions in a block, because as you can remember, each uh, blockchain consists of blocks and within each block you have a bunch of transactions and often the order really matters and this is what for, where for example sandwich attacks come into play. So sandwich attack is uh, for example when someone is trying to buy a coin and then there's an MEV bot that comes before buying before him a coin and selling just right after him. So uh, the person trying to buy gets a little bit of uh, difference in price and this small difference is basically transferred to uh, MEV bot because uh, the price goes up after uh, buying from the user and MEV bot sells right after profiting from the small increase of change. This is basically what Jared from Subway is doing. I did a video about Jared from Subway. So if you haven't seen that, uh, have a look at that. Uh, Jared from Subway is now a legendary MEV searcher who has this really well done bot uh, making him basically 15 ETH every hour. Of course, he pays a lot in gas fees. Uh, and this is one of the hardest things that I will explain in this video as well, because you really have to have optimized code for gas co uh, calculations, slippage and a bunch of other stuff happening. So it's really complicated thing. It's not like uh, this video is also to show you that you really have to have persistence in order to build and profitable MEV bot. Uh, if you try to do it with GPT-4, this right off the bat, you probably won't be profitable in any way, uh, but it's cool exercise anyway. Uh, so yeah, create a sandwich bot. You would first need to identify profitable opportunities. So large transactions that would cause significant price slippage. So this is this price slippage means that after someone buys, then basically the price will move, for example, by half a percent, a percent or, or, or even more. Uh, so that's why meme coin season was uh, super important for, uh, for, for Jared from Subway and similar uh, MEV bots because basically they there was so much price slippage, especially with smaller market cap coins. And they really use that uh, to their profit. Uh, so once you identify a transaction, your bot would submit a transaction that gets placed immediately before the target transaction, the front run, and another that gets placed uh, immediately after the back run. Uh, so this is basically when this sandwich coming from, right? So you have someone buying a coin, you come before and you sell afterwards. Uh, this is the, the whole idea. Of course, there are other MEV uh, transactions. You can also go for liquidations. Uh, you can use different flash rounds for, for different strategies. Uh, I won't be getting into that. Sandwich is probably the easiest to explain what you can do uh, as an MEV 
the searcher. Um, bear in mind, highly technical again. So let's get started. And this is what also ChatGPT writes. Uh, this code is super basic. So if you want to use it, you probably should read some more. Uh, this is basically what, what, what it's saying. Um, so basically, this is the, the you have the Solidity code, the, 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 the code that will be actually deployed in a smart contract. Um, and this is for executing transactions. So you get, you're getting the path, you're basically connected to Uniswap factory and there will be, uh, th there's no logic basically to simulate the transaction. So this is just a simple uh, uh, bot for when you have already the transaction and you want to buy then basically uh, performing the operation, of course. So this is the very beginning and then I keep on asking about a bunch of other st uh, stuff. Uh, so for example, in the real world to ensure that your transaction gets included in the same block and in the correct order. Because again, remember, you're uh, competing with other MEV searchers, so you have to correctly adjust your gas because if there's like a la large transaction coming to the mempool so you can see them before getting confirmed uh, then basically other people see that as well and they will compete with you because of course uh, profiting from MEV is a great idea in general uh, but uh, you have to optimize your gas so you will be paying gas someone else will be paying gas and uh, if you pay less then basically your transaction will be included later so for example you won't grab that. Uh, this is where flashbots also come into play because there's where you can send bundles and I, I, I get to that in a moment. So uh, I then uh, ask ChatGPT to write me logic to identify profitable opportunities to ensure that the transaction get placed immediately before and after the target transaction. So, and I also add the, the stuff that uh, it added to, to me. So you would need to implement that uh, yourself. Uh, this was done, uh, this was done before. Uh, so let's get, to, so I get the answer here and I get the, I get the logic. So actually the logic here is going outside of a smart contract because we will need to run something in the backend. In this case, uh, it, it went with Node.js, but you can go with Python and Go as well. Uh, you will need to connect that to, to Ethereum to monitor the mempool for pending transactions. This is what I was trying to explain. So you have the transaction, someone is buying the coin. So the transaction goes into the mempool and this is the moment where you see that transaction and you can act upon it and calculate whether you want to buy the token before him and after him, paying of course uh, the gas. So you're getting the code for just connecting and monitoring the mempool. So this is really cool. This probably works. I was like, you know, uh, going through that last night and just checking uh, whether that makes sense. But basically this looks okay. And uh, the, the, of course, the last thing that is missing here is whether the transaction is profitable. And this, uh, you, uh, the, the chat GPT first writes that at your logic and then, you know, check it. Uh, of course, in the next thing, I'm going to ask, ask him to do it for me. Uh, but so as of, as of my knowledge cutoff, this is what chat GPT is saying is September 2021. Uh, so uh, he doesn't have the knowledge of uh, flash, the current flashbots. And the cool thing that I'm going to do is actually I'm going to just dump him the documentation. This is the way to actually work, the really great way to work with ChatGPT uh, because it, uh, it understands the documentation. So what I did right now, because so again, I, I knew what I wanted to do. So I wanted to, first of all, uh, include the whole bundle. This is the, where the flashbots are coming. I wanted to have a bundle that, uh, you know, uh, I know exactly the transaction in the middle and I want to have exactly before that my transaction and before that transaction, uh, after that transaction as well, my transaction. So uh, I have this bundle of free transactions that I sent to the miner and I want miner to confirm that or leave it to be because I don't want to lose, uh, lose money on gas uh, if I won't make the sandwich attack. So I'm going basically to this quick start and what I did, I copied the quick start. So this is the, about the Flashbots au auction, how, you can, uh, how it can help searchers. Really great read. I'm going to give a link down below in the description if you want to. Uh, it's super needed if you want to do any kind of MEV. Important stuff to basically uh, have the code as well. So basically what I did, I copied everything. I copied everything with the code and uh, asked ChatGPT to, uh, to, basically, uh, to, to, to basically give me a logic for profitable transactions. So as you can see, this is uh, everything that I copied, the, the bundle relays, the code uh, in, the, form, in the, the rawest form possible. So I, I didn't even format the text. Uh, so uh, this is the, the craziest thing. So this is what ChatGPT is able to do because he's so good at getting the context and making reasoning up on, on this context uh, is that based on the documentation you provided, it's clear that sending a transaction via, via flashbots involves creating a bundle of transactions, signing it, and then sending it via flashbots relay. Uh, so basically, 
basically it knows right away everything and uh, it gives me the context for MEV sandwich uh, attack because the flashbots are for digital bundles you can do you know other bundles not only sandwich attacks you can do other things uh, this gives me the code for uh, for for, for uh, sandwich attacks precisely so uh, this is basically the signing the transactions and sending this uh, bundle uh, I have the front run, I have creating the bundle with the transaction and signing the transaction. Uh, so this is the this is it. Uh, this give, gave me the, uh, the the bundle for for Flashbot. So this is this is pretty modern, even though the knowledge of ChatGPT is from 2021. Now it still didn't give me the the logic for the profit, uh, profitability function. This is what I'm getting right now. So I'm basically copying the code that it left with this audio logic, uh, and I'm asking it to add me a profitability function, uh, and this is what it gets. So uh, basically. Uh, he correctly analyzes a couple of factors that uh, that are needed here, especially things like uh, transaction value, liquidity, gas prices, spread, and a bunch of other things. Uh, and basically writes a simple example. Uh, so, but basically before go going into the code, I want to discuss maybe a little bit more. So you can see right away that where, where's the difficulty here and why Jared from Subway is so good and why his code is so optimized because there are a couple of a couple of things that are really, you have to take into, into consideration. You have to optimize on the fly because you don't have much time. It's basically just uh, seconds at the very best on Ethereum, but mostly you would have to do those trans uh, calculations within uh, milliseconds and then send the response to the miner so that they include you your bundle in a block. Uh, and this is what he does over and over and over in every block in every uh, over time. So this is like a lot of work and there's a lot of computation. So basically, if you look at the past 30 days on Jared, basically he also, uh, even though he's he made like $4 million in total, he spent like $18 million on gas. And this is a huge amount. So this also shows that if your calculations are wrong, then you're going to lose a lot of money because you lose the money on the on gas, you lose the money on people that actually there might be other bots coming before you. So if you don't optimize for that, there might be slippage that is not enough to cover what you paid for gas, uh, stuff like that, that is really important. So, uh, and this is what uh, ChatGPT already notices and gives you the uh, simple example on how to implement profitable functions. So as you can see, this is, uh, basically looking at the gas transaction and trying to establish whether you know whether gas is enough to actually do do something with that uh, and that's it that's uh, as you can see this is the coming and gluing all those pieces together I probably could deploy a simple MEV bot uh, I'm not doing that because I know this code is definitely very far from optimal and if I were to be uh, in any way profitable, I would need to be competitive. And right now you have to be in some degree competitive with Jared from Subway. And there are many other people who are actually working on different version of MEV bots for, for the past years. Of course, it doesn't mean you can't be better than, the, than them. You probably can uh, if you really put your mind to it, but this is not something you can do on a side and you know just have fun with it and you know download the code from the internet somewhere, do a little tweaks and that's it. You really would have to work on solely MEV sandwich attacks for the next couple of months, uh, assuming that you have expertise in uh, mathematics, uh, Node.js and about, you know, flashbots and stuff like that, smart contracts, uh, then you probably maybe have a chance at competing. But if you just want to jump in and, you know, make quick money, this is definitely not the way, this is one of the hardest way to make money in crypto, really. Uh, even though it, su it seems super glamorous with Jared from uh, Subway, uh, this is one of the hardest way to make money in crypto. It's super technical. There's so much room for error. And if you make this error, actually there's no room for error. Uh, so if you make an error that will cost you quite a lot of money in too much gas fees, or maybe there's not the, the opportunity running away because you get included in other blocks, stuff like that so be careful out there let me know what you think uh, maybe you have an MEV bot that you are already running I would love to get to know more about that uh, generally speaking uh, also watch my other videos about eigenfee which is a, a solution for uh, a dashboard for looking at all MEV happening at uh, at once and also definitely have a look at flashbots and what they're doing if you want to get into MEV uh, they have a great discord very welcoming so if you want to learn this is probably the best place to go uh, to learn about MEV for everything else of course subscribe to my channel I tend to cover cool concepts in uh, crypto MEV included but also 
new chains, new DeFi protocols, new NFT collections and everything else that is super interesting. So subscribe and see you in the next video.